Let's take a minute to practice ordering fractions. We started this last week, um, and you should all have notes on it, but I know that your notes aren't with you. So I want to make sure that you have another example of how to order fractions. One of the easiest ways to do it is to convert all of the denominators so that they're the same. This allows us to just look at the numerators, and we can order it from greatest to least or least to greatest just based off of the numerators alone. So the first thing that we need to do is convert our fractions so that they all have a shared denominator. Converting is just another word for changing the denominators so that they're all the same. In order to do that, I need to find the least common multiple of my denominators. So I'm going to put my denominators out. We have 10, 5, and 2, and I'm going to find the first six multiples of each. I'm going to put them in little boxes so that I know that these are the numbers that I'm finding multiples of and then they'll be separate from my multiples. So first six is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. And then we have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. And finally two, four, six, eight, 10, and 12. So that's just my good general rule of thumb. I always want to find my first six multiples of each. And I'm looking for my least common multiple. That's the smallest multiple that all three of these denominators all have. And as I look, the smallest one that I can see that all three have is 10. So what that means is that I want all three of my fractions now to have a denominator of 10. So I'm going to change 4 fifths to an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 10 and I'm going to change 1 half to an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 10. I don't need to change 7 tenths, it already has a denominator of 10. So I'm going to scroll down here, and let's see if we have enough space to do it. I know I need to convert 4 fifths, so I'm going to write 4 fifths, and my LCM is 10, which means that the equivalent fraction that I would like has to have a denominator of 10. So I can do this by cross multiplying or simply by multiplying across. I know that 5 times 2 gives me 10, so whatever I do to the bottom I have to do the, to the top because we know fractions are jealous. So 4 times 2 is going to give me 8. That means that my equivalent fraction for 4 fifths is 8 tenths. So I'm actually going to write that out to the side, but I'm going to put it in parentheses so that I know that this is my converted fraction and not my original because I'm going to need to know my original. For 1 half I'm going to do the same thing to convert that. I write one half out, and then I know I want a denominator of 10 because that's what my LCM is. Um, and I'll show you how to do this one by cross multiplying because for some people that's their preference. So 10 times 1 is 10. And if I'm creating an equivalent fraction, then my product of this denominator and this numerator has to be 10 as well. So now I can ask myself, 2 times what gives me 10? Well, 2 times 5 gives me 10. Right? That means that my equivalent fraction for 1 half with a denominator of 10 is 5 tenths. So I'm going to put that over to the side as well. And I'll put that in parentheses so I know that that's my equivalent fraction, not my original. Now I've been asked to order these from greatest to least. And I'm going to look strictly at my numerators. So I have 5 tenths, I have 8 tenths, and I have 7 tenths. 8 is the largest of the three numerators, so 8 tenths is going to be my largest fraction. But I've been asked to order my original fractions, so when I start to order them, I'm going to put 4 fifths down here first. 4, oop, I have to make it smaller. I don't have enough room. <laughs> Do it this way. 4 fifths. Alright, and then I'm looking at my next one, 7 tenths. 7 comes right after 8, and that's larger than 5, so I'm going to put 7 tenths next. Go ahead and erase this over here so I can write it. 7 tenths. And then last but not least, I have 5 tenths. My original fraction was 1 half, so I'm going to write my original fraction down there. So in order from greatest to least, I have 4 fifths, 7 tenths, and 1 half.